I really enjoyed the Technovation Challenge program because I feel very passionate about empowering our girls to not be afraid of technology. And I did work with a group of 18 girls and we had ended up having four teams. And some knew a little technology, I probably knew the least. But as we learned together and as we were doing the apps, we were just so excited and proud of what we were able to accomplish. And I would definitely recommend this program to anyone, especially for our at-risk girls, our minority children, because they are the ones who feel that sometimes that it can't be done or, or they're not able to get into that industry. But as they grew in confidence in working on this app, they realized that they can do anything they want. Some of the pitfalls we had in working with the technology challenges, we were at a school site, so we didn't have the one-on-one -on -one um, interaction with the, the, the iridescent group. And sometimes when we had questions, because we often came on Saturdays due to scheduling, and we would make phone calls, we couldn't always get a hold of anyone. But as soon as I got the emails out, I would email on a regular basis asking questions because we just had a lot of questions. And Annalise or someone would always respond as soon as she was able, but some Saturdays we were just stuck because we just didn't know. The girls themselves, just getting everyone together, again, I just took the challenge and I put it out for 21. And in the beginning we had 21 girls, it dwindled down to 18. Well, I looked at the um, spreadsheets and I realized most people had four or five, and I'm like, whoa, let me slow down a little bit. But all the girls hung in there. We had to meet on Saturday. Some were involved in soccer. Some were testing for AP, just getting schedules together. Some could stay after. Some could not stay after. So we had to come to a happy medium. And most of my Saturdays from February to May were booked with Technovation Challenge, just learning and planning and getting involved. We had a lot of um, confusion, well not so much confusion, but a lot to learn with the business plan. And if I had any recommendations, I think we need to start a little earlier because we did get a chance to get the girls together, but I could have worked with them a lot longer just on Learning the app was one part of the program because it was brand new, they had never seen anything like it, just getting used to the phones, how to put it on the phones, all the technology part. And then once they kind of got that going, creating a plan, what are we going to dis discover? What are we going to create? And that took some more time. And then just those little questions in the business plan, you know, we were reading everything by PowerPoint and just some things were a little more confusion, confusing, so we had to ask a lot of questions. And they just needed time and working on a business plan and getting the research in. So overall, would I do it again? Absolutely. Am I going to recommend it? Absolutely. Some things that I would like to see changed is a little bit more time, maybe 10 weeks when you're at the pilot school on your own where you don't have access to someone, you need more time to get the answer back to you because sometimes it may take a day or two to call or to get the answer back. And also we're learning as well, so just learning together, pulling the girls together and just the planning time. You know, we, we were sticklers to the rules. It said a science app, so we had already started working on it, then we got a, an email that they need a science app, so we had to sort of switch gears, but just making sure in the beginning, we just have an idea, where are we going with this, what do they want, what are the rules, and just being really sticklers to all the rules, because I was adamant, because all the girls had to speak in the video, but some of the girls in the other videos, all of the girls didn't speak, so there was just a little conflict there. My girls were a little disappointed, because I made them speak in the video, but some of the other videos, only one one person spoke. So just being consistent on the rules, making sure everything is, is equal and fair across the board. But it was a pilot and I loved it. I felt like they worked out the kinks in the end and the girls just had a phenomenal time and so did I. I just really enjoyed it. And they felt proud of that. They did. They were, you know, really like, I can't, and they showed, a, a lot of our school had seen them and I've sent the videos around to my administration and they were like, whoa, you know. So that alone boosts their confidence. But, but some of them, when they first came, one of the girls was like, oh, I can't do this. You know, I just feel like technology isn't my thing. She stayed to the end and I was just so proud of her because she hung in there and she got involved and she started getting into it and, and learning it. And they were helping each other, even though they were competing against against each other because they each had their own group, they still helped each other. You know, one group would go and help the other group because they wanted everyone 
to win and to finish and to do well. So it, it bonded them, you know, and it was 18, so it was hard, but it did. They, they just got compassionate for each other. I think, you know, and I don't teach any of them, so we all sort of bonded together. It was just a phenomenal learning experience overall. And they did, they learned and they were excited and they were happy. And someone from LA got to the top, so we were glad about that, so yeah. So, and two of my groups, one came in second, one came in third. So we didn't do too bad. Yeah, so we were, we were really proud.